Hi, I'm Andrew Berry, and welcome to At The Benches YouTube channel. When I'm working on rings on our online training website at the bench, I often go on about ring clamps. And there are lots of ring clamps out there. And I always say which ring clamp that I prefer over others. And I'm gonna show you the ring clamps that I've got in my toolkit and basically show you what they do and how they hold the ring and which ones I prefer and why. So you look in the tool catalogs and there are lots and there's a myriad of ring clamps out there and you wonder which one do I need? Um, certain people prefer certain types, others prefer other types um, and everyone is obviously welcome to their own opinions and what you use perhaps at the start of your apprenticeship you will keep on using throughout your whole life without realizing perhaps there's another better type of ring clamp out there. So first of all, a ring clamp. What is a ring clamp? Well, it's a way of holding a ring, basically. It doesn't even have to be a ring. It can be a piece of metal when you're sawing, you're filing, when you're drilling, but primarily it is to hold a ring. I'm just working on a project here on At The Bench and I'm just um, sawing down the center of a ring and I've put it into a ring clamp. So. A ring clamp will hold a ring securely in place as we've got here, which means that you can look at the ring, you can move the ring around without actually physically touching the ring. So if you're perhaps you're polishing or perhaps you're drilling or you're filing or you're sawing, your fingers are well out of the way and the ring is really held nice and securely. You're not trying to hold onto the ring with your finger underneath the ring like this and you're sawing, easily cut into your, your, your finger. If you're polishing, the ring gets very, very hot. It'll burn your fingers perhaps. So you want a device to hold onto the ring. So a ring clamp comes in very uh, handy. So there are a few types available. I'm just quickly just gonna go through them now. There's a type of ring clamp with a wing nut on the side. Just something like this one here. Very, very simple. And they are very simple ideas. This one is like, almost like a cylinder. It's hinged at the one end down here and the jaws are lined. And the majority of times, the jaws are always lined with a nice little piece of leather that you can replace or plastic. Again, you can get replaceable jaws replaceable pads. And this one is simply uh, sprung by a little spring on the inside of here. And there's a little wing nut on the outside. You simply turn the wing nut and that will hold the ring in place. So let's open that up. I can put the ring in here and tighten the wing nut. That holds it nice and easy, just as we've got it there. Great little holding device. I love this and I've had it for many, many years. But the problem with this type of clamp is, is that this wing that for me gets in the way. If I wanna hold onto something, I can hold it down here without a problem. But if I wanna hold it a bit nearer, perhaps get, get a bit more of a, um, a better hold or a closer hold, um, this nut then really gets in the way. And you can't really hold onto the ring properly without that wing nut getting in the way. Saying that, you can hold it down here and that is not a problem. But if you've got your bench peg here and you're trying to turn the ring around, again, the nut will get in the way of your peg. It's great if you're simply holding onto something like this and you're drilling it with a drill press, if you're filing and you don't need to have that closeness when you're holding onto the ring. Great little ring clamp. For me, it's, not my first choice. Another type of clamp that holds the ring from the inside. Again, I've got, in fact, I've got two of these. I don't know why I've got two. One I've never used, one that I have really used. And this type is like a tapered cone that we've got here. And there's four, four saw cuts, two saw cuts, straight down at 90 degrees to each other, not all the way down. It stops three quarters of the way down. So these are all still attached. The idea is the ring goes over the end. It goes down nice and tight. And again, we've got a wing nut, but this time it's at the bottom of the ring clamp. And as we turn the wing nut here, it pulls down a plastic tapered cone in the center, which opens out these four fingers, which really then holds the ring from 
the inside, which means we have total access to that ring all the way around. Whereas in this style of clamp, we've only got access to what is above the jaws here. And likewise with this one. And if you want to work on the other part of the ring, loosen the clamp, turn the ring round, close the clamp. So this type of clamp here is very, very good if you want to hold on to the ring. And again, the clamp is on the end, the ring that is on the end, which means you've got a good hold onto this all the way around. And something like this is brilliant if you have a ring in this case, and we're just cutting a nice groove all the way around because we can constantly turn the ring around. We have full access to the circumference of the ring. Ideal if you want to start drilling into the ring, perhaps when you're setting stones, there's wood on the inside, it doesn't matter if you drill into it. So again, I've had this for many, many years, really well used, really good type of ring clamp. That's what it looks like when it comes brand new. And that actually has a metal cone shape in the middle. Principle, exactly the same. You turn the wing nut, comes down, opens the fingers, holds onto the ring. A great little one, that one. My favorite is the wedge style. What can go wrong with this? Nothing can go wrong with this. It is so, so simple. It's simply, again, almost like a broom handle cut in half. It's got a little bit of a, a metal banding around the outside and that is hinged as we've got there. One end is nicely rounded, as you can see here. The other end is nicely flattened. So you've got to work on both ends. And to hold the ring in place, you use the wedge that comes with it. You can put the ring into place like that there, hold it in the leather lined jaws, put the wedge up from underneath, push nice and tight, hold the ring in place. I love this type of clamp, again, like this type here, because you've got full access to the whole ring clamp. You've got nothing sticking in your hand, you've got a nice length to hold onto here, and again, we can work on this at our peg, and we can turn this around completely uninterrupted. If you want to work on the rest of the circumference of the ring, then yes, you have to turn the ring around and push the wedge in. Brilliant type of clamp. I love this to bits. I think this is my favorite type of clamp. Really holds the ring nice and secure into that. If you do have one of these clamps, you can sort of make some slight alterations as well with this one as I've got here. I've got this groove that I've simply filed out around the outside. So why would I want to do that? Well, if I'm setting some stones or if I want to really push down and perhaps I want to engrave on the outside. We've got our bench peg here, and this groove can fit into that V section that you've got there. So you can really push down onto the ring, and this groove now locates into that V section of your bench. You can go one step further and modify a bench peg as we've got here with this semicircular groove. And this is a type of peg that stone setters use. Instead of having the V in their bench peg that we've got here, they have this semicircular cutout. Why? It's because these type of clamps can go into this little area like this we've got here. And again, because we've got the groove along here, it fits nicely into that bench peg we've got there. And we can work all the way around the ring. We can push down without having to push it back up with this hand. So you're using the groove to locate onto the peg itself there to, to hold and suspend the actual ring. So that's a modified peg, as you can see. Uh, these are available in, obviously, that I've got here in wood. I'm sure these are available in a plastic and also in metal. And if you want to go that one step further again, now these are very, very cheap. They're only a couple of pound each, a few dollars very cheap as chips. But if you want to go again that one step further, there's um, a company called GRS, GRS Tools, which I'm sure many of you know, and they make the Benchmate system. And what they do is make some fantastic, fantastic tools. And they have a similar type of ring clamp. This is a metal one. And again, the principle is exactly the same. The jaws open up, you can put the ring in place like that there, and again, tighten the nut on the bottom, that pulls the jaws down, which holds the ring really securely in place. That is metal, it's metal for a reason, because there's this bracket that we've got here, that will slip down inside, you have a dovetail plate that fastens on the front of your bench, and this then would slide into that, into your bench. So, you have got full access 
to that ring with both hands. In this way, you actually have to hold the ring in one hand. You can only use this other hand, or if you're left-handed, this way. You can only use one hand on the ring. But when you have this Benchmade system, the ring clamp is held for you. And you've got access to this. You can push this forward, backwards, sideways, up and down, on whichever way you want to. This is the old style that I've got here. This is the brand new Encore system we've got here as well. And this is the latest version of that Benchmade. Again, exactly the same, dovetail plate goes on here. So this will slot onto the dovetail plate. You can also then get your bench peg with the uh, attachment on it. So you can take this off, put your peg in place, or take your peg off and put this in place. And again, this will be held nice and securely at your bench. And again, the ring goes in here and you've got full access to the ring. The ring can be turned around, it can be moved, it can be, go, be pushed forwards and backwards. And it also has different attachments that goes into the center. So the ring is clamped from either side with this attachment. There are other attachments then that work on the same principle as this type of clamp that would hold the ring from the inside. So again, you've got 360 degree access to that ring without having to undo the clamp, take the ring out, move the ring around, put the ring back in the clamp and tighten it up. If you can afford it, invest in one of these. These are one of the best types of tools that I feel that would really benefit you if you do a lot of work on rings and perhaps you want to do a lot of stone setting, engraving, anything like that, because you've got two hands free. You don't have to hold on to the ring with this hand whilst you try and work with this hand. You've got both hands free because the ring is being held in that system securely and you can use both hands whether you want to hold on to the ring, ease something to one side, guide a saw blade or whatever. This is a Benchmate system by GRS Tools, GRS Products, an absolutely fantastic type of ring clamp. So, those are the ring clamps that I use. I'm sure I've missed out a couple of types of ring clamps that are available in the tool catalogs. So, my favorite, the wedge style. It's cheap as chips. I've got a couple of these. I've got one upstairs here in this workshop. We have a workshop downstairs as well. I have a couple down there as well. You can cut them, you can modify them. It's wood, it doesn't matter, and they are really cheap. And for me, they are the best type of clamp because it enables you to have complete access all the way around the ring, as opposed to this style, where this, this wing nut gets in the way. They all have their uses, they all have their benefits, There we go, all about ring clamps. I hope then that helps you make a bit more of an educated guess when you come to buy ring clamps. And perhaps you haven't even seen these types of ring clamps. So now you know exactly what these uh, types of clamps do and what are available and why they are shaped like they are. My name is Andrew Berry for At The Bench's YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, please, if you like this film, give us a thumbs up. Please share this with your friends as well. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, just click on the subscribe button down below or at the end of this film. I'd love it to. Absolutely wonderful if you could do that for me. Love it. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next film. Take care. Bye-bye.